Good afternoon, mathematicians. Today we're taking a look at lesson 5.9, powers of 10. The goal of this lesson is to introduce exponential notation for powers of 10 as a way of naming the values of places in our base 10 system. As we go through this lesson, you'll figure out what exactly that's talking about. Our learning target for today is I can compare multi-digit numbers and show or explain my thinking. So go ahead and get that written down. I can compare multi-digit numbers. First of all, for our warm-up, we're going to go ahead and read each of these numbers aloud. Now let's take a look at those numbers. In each number, we have one digit underlined. First, we're going to give the value of the digit. How much is it worth? Next, we're going to say, what place is it actually in? Again here, let's go ahead and read these numbers aloud. Now, there's one digit in each that is underlined. What is the place that it's in? And what is it worth? What's the value? Who would like to read each of these numbers aloud? What place is each underlined digit in? And what is the value? Today we're going to be taking a look at page 130. For this, we're going to fill in the place value chart as follows. We're going to write the standard number in row 1. So this is going to be our this is going to be our standard number and they're all going to be different. Notice the labels above. So millions, we wrote the number 1 million. 100,000s, let's go ahead and write the number 100 100,000 and so on. Go ahead and fill in your chart. So if we compare, we have 1,100,000, we have 10,000, 1,000, 100, 10s, and 1s. Direction 2 says, in row 2, write the value of each place to show that it is 10 times the value of the place to its right. So for example, the number 1 million is the same as having 10 groups of 100,000. 100,000 is to the right. So now 100,000 is 10 times as large as 10,000. So we're going to write that it's 10 groups of 10 thousands. Then 10 thousands is 10 times the amount of the number to the right. So the thousand. Go ahead and fill in the last place. In row 3, we're going to write the place values as products of 10, so multiplying them. Well, 10s, we know it's just 10 times 1. To make 100, it's 10 times 10. How many times do we multiply 10 to get 1,000? Right, it's 10 times 10 times 10. Three tens because there are three zeros. 10,000 is four zeros, so we multiply 10 four times. Fill in the hundred thousands and the millions on your own. In this last row then, we're going to show the values as powers of 10. Use exponents. Let's take a look at what an exponent is. If we look in these examples, these small numbers written to the right are called exponents. The exponent shows how many times 10 is used as a factor. It also shows how many zeros are in the standard number. This was the standard number. So if we go to the number 10, we write a 10 as our base, and our exponent is how many zeros are in the number 10? Well, 1, so we would write a 1 as our exponent. When we go to 10 thousands, we write a 10, and then how many zeros are in the number 10,000? Right, there are four, so we would write a four as the exponent, because that tells us that there are four zeros in the number, or in other words, that we need to multiply the 10 four times in order to get that. 100 thousands they have done. 10 to the fifth power, we would read it, is the same as saying you need to multiply 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. 
For millions, how many times did we multiply the 10 together to make 1 million? Right, we multiplied it 6 times, so our exponent here is a 6. Today, then, you're going to complete lesson 5.9. We already did Math Journal page 130. Your big job today is using an exit or writing an exit slip to describe the pattern in one of the rows in the table on journal page 130. This should be a minimum of five sentences. You will do this today on a loose leaf piece of paper. So you're going to take one of the rows we went over, in other words, either the standard number, the multiplying by 10 number, the 10 times whatever the place value was to the right, or the one with the exponents, the powers of 10, and you're going to explain how that row works from left to right. Then you're going to do math box 5.9. If you're on activity B or activity C, you're simply going on blend space when you are finished, choosing one activity that you feel you need to work on to better your math skills. Make it a great day.